Okay, so today's unboxing is a really good one I'm really excited about. This is the Topeak Prep Box. And one of the coolest things about this, it has 36 professional tools inside, a really cool case. And best of all for you guys is we're giving some away. So don't forget to click in the link in the description below. All the competition details are there. All right, so let's get involved inside. Just open like a briefcase. Whoa. There's not boring paperwork inside here though, nothing but mountain biking tools. So the first thing you notice with the Topeak prep box is the fact it comes in a very tough case. It's kind of like a briefcase style thing, you get a lot of power tools in. And on the outside it's got a little caddy, so if there are any specialist tools like shock pumps or bleed kits that you want to add to your collection, it's a real cool place to just store those. Now, if you open up the buckles and the case opens up in half, inside you'll see what i really really like is the fact it's got like a mesh flap on one side and a padded flap on the other that is to keep all the tools in place so even if they do come out of their little homes they don't rattle around that is awesome okay so first up i just want to spin this around i'm going to have a look inside the mesh layer here so just undo this they're pretty heavy duty zips and obviously you've got all the tools sort of set inside here so they're quite a secure fit so nothing's going to rattle around real nice quality so the first thing you've got this quarter inch sort of breaker bar so it's got a socket on, on the end there you can use that with all the other tools inside here and also aftermarket sockets for even stuff like your car real good bit of kit that and a chain whip you're going to need one of those for removing a cassette on your bike always good valuable tool to have and of course trusty pedal spanner Many mountain bikes these days do have an 8mm or a 6mm key to remove those pedals, but of course 15mm is a classic one, so it's always good to have that in your toolkit. Next up is tyre levers. You might find that a bit unusual to have in a kit like this, but this is like a triple set. They piggyback onto each other. You've got two regular size ones, and you've got that whopper. Now these are so strong and it's such a good shape. Really good for moving downhill tyres, plus bike tyres, and anything that's like a really, really secure fit. Great addition to the kit. Cassette cleaning tool here, just for getting all the crap out from in between your sprockets and around your chain ring and that, nice stiff bristles. Really good to have one of those in your cleaning kit. Now of course you've got bottom bracket related tools here, just gonna pull this out, quite a secure fit. Now so that's for an external bottom bracket and of course this is for the Shimano style system for preloading that bearing end cap on the end of your crank there. And you've got a crank puller here, so you operate that by just screwing it into the threads of your crank and then an eight mil key just for driving it back out again. Don't see them as often these days, but they're really applicable to have in your toolkit. Now this is a cassette lock ring tool, another great tool to have, use that in combination with the chain whip. And finally, your classic cartridge bearing style bottom bracket tool, another banger. Okay, so that was the first side, so I'm just gonna flip this round and get cracking into the second side here. And this is good, because there's so much more stuff in this side. Right, so where should we start? So first up, a proper workshop style Topeak chain tool and the thing i really love about this other than the size of it and how heavy this thing is is the fact it's got twin jaws on it so that means it's really good for splitting and joining a chain but also for removing a stiff link and that's something you don't always see on a little multi-tool that you're out on the trail with so this really is well thought about and then in the bottom of the handle here nice extra feature that you do tend to see on these workshop spec ones extra driver pin so that's a real good thing so this is built to last and you've got the spare parts for it as well essential for any mountain bikers to have one of those. Next up, we've got this torque set up here. In the casing on the top here, you've got a 3, 4, 5, 6 and a T25 bit there. Really simplified version of what is normally a big clunky tool. Um, essential for just making sure you don't over tighten your controls and things like crack your brake lever clamps or your stem. And it's just got a simple dial set up there. So when you tighten, it just correlates to the sort of torque setting that you need to for that part. Really nice little compact version there. Uh, next up, an eight and a 10 mil open-ended spanner, useful for cable clamps and also for brakes. Um, just a nice quality vanadium steel, really good that. Next up is a chain wear indicator tool. So a very useful thing to have just so you can monitor the chain wear on your bike. Of course, if you replace your chain more often than your cassette, you could probably get two of those to one cassette, whereas the other way around, it's gonna cost you a lot more money. On the underside of it is a third hand tool. That's for holding a chain together when you're driving the pin through. So sometimes you have to have a friend help you do that, or you can sort of whittle it a bit, but this is actually the proper tool for that. Really useful to have. 
Uh, next up is a full workshop spec set of Allen keys. So they range from the 1.5 up to the 8, so there's eight of them here, and they're ball ended keys. And that's really useful for getting into those difficult spaces. And as well as being kept inside this case securely, they're in their own sort of independent case. So that's a really good way of not losing them because we all know the smaller Allen keys can go wandering time to time. Essential bit of kit. Uh, next up is a spoke key, and this has got multiple sizes from 13, 14, 15s even on there. There's loads, loads of options in there. Um, obviously, it's good to make sure you can tighten up those spoke nipples if you get loose ones and for true in your wheel. Next up is a, the Torx wrench keys. Um, we've got eight of these ranging from the tiny little T7, which you don't really see that often on a mountain bike, but the popularity of Torx drives is increasing, so it's a really good thing to have, all the way up to a T30. So they're all there, and if you've got something like formula brakes, you'll find that you need the sort of the smaller Torx keys for the brake lever clamps and things like that. Really useful to have. Next up is this cool sort of screwdriver socket set. So you've got two double-ended pieces. You've got the, uh, the Phillips set up there, and it literally just slots in place, and you can reverse that for the smaller size, and the same with the flathead. Really useful, and obviously you're getting four for one there, so great bit of kit. And finally, Probably one of the most essential things any cyclist can have is a decent set of cable cutters. So you don't want to sort of fray your cables when you're putting a new gear cable into your bike. So don't cut anything with these except gear cables or brake cables. Because as soon as you cut things like spokes with them, you start sort of blunting the edges of them and you will only fray your cables. And then just on the inside here, it's just a little set of jaws for squashing on those cable nipples. Great bit of kit. So there you go, that is the Topeak Prep Box. So a really cool 36 piece professional toolkit housed inside this really good kind of indestructible plastic casing. Now, what does it cost? So it's uh, 329.99 in the UK, that's a retail price. It's 375 euros or 442 US dollars. So you could think that's quite expensive, but if you actually add up the individual cost of all the tools, you'll find that comes to about the same price. Plus you're getting a really good casing that all comes in. And of course, if you're a mountain biker like myself, you like to keep things neat and tidy and you don't want to lose anything. So a really, really good essential piece of kit. Now don't forget, you can win some of these. So click in the link below just to find out a little bit more about that competition for how to do that. And in the meantime, obviously click on the globe to subscribe. It's got brand new content coming for you every single day. And for 10 life hacks, click right down here. And for 10 maintenance mistakes to avoid, click over here. And of course, if you like this uh, Topic Prep Box, give us a thumbs up.